I've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. We'll take a look and see what's coming up for the present time, which will be for the month of October. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, for the recent past energy between you and your person, we got temperance. And temperance is paired with the Hierophant. Now, when you get temperance, all of your relationships, they're going pretty well. They're going well. Um, but you probably would have needed to look at any deep personal issues and see if or how they were standing in your way, and if they were, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the ideal at that time was to do what it took to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with any goals and aspirations that you have. Now, temperance, like I said, is with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a very interesting energy. It does mean that you could have been searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend. When you're called on for advice or help with some important matters or issues, your intelligence and empathy, it puts you in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So Libra, this could be you or someone that's coming towards you or someone that you know. Uh, they're quick-witted, well-educated, wise teachers. They're marked by integrity. Quite frankly, they're the genuine article, a true blue. The Hierophant is a highly admired individual. They walk the walk, talk the talk, and they stand really firm in their beliefs and convictions. So what I'm picking up here is that you got temperance clarified by the Hierophant for the recent past energy of you and whoever you're connected with, who, whoever your person is. So in the recent past, I'm getting that some of you Libras, you might have been trying to tap into your spirituality. You might have asked your person or wanted to talk to your person about um, taking a new approach, a different style, a different technique to the relationship, just adding something different or or um, or making the relationship something different than it was. Yeah, so you might have uh, talked to your person about um, maybe joining the church um, becoming more um, of a, a traditional type of relationship. You might have talked to your person about that. Um, you wanted something more ethical, more moral in the connection. You wanted it to be more, more... More traditional, basically, that's what the hierophant is about. Uh, loyal, genuine, sincere, honest. You were looking for those qualities. So you wanted to do something like, like I said, maybe you join a church so that both of you could stay um, focused on what's really important in the connection or how to make the connection even stronger. That's what you might have been trying to put out to your person. Because you knew if you did this, it would bring balance into the connection. You, if you knew you could get your person to do something like that, it would bring peace of mind to the connection and balance. Because that's temperance. It's there. That's what temperance is about. Finding balance. So that's what you really wanted in the... That's a recent past energy. 
you really want to find balance and you thought if you two could take the traditional approach that it would help. Yeah, so that's what you wanted. You wanted something more ethical. You wanted the connection to be more ethical. Put it that way. Just so that it would stay balanced. Maybe the connection was all over the place at one point. But then you realize you need something that's... You need to put something into the relationship that's more grounded and stable. Like having morals. Yeah, not just letting it be just anything. So, that was the recent past energy for you and your person. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for October. Wow, we got the Queen of Swords, and it's with the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Swords is a very interesting type of energy. Very interesting. It's, it's really forceful. Very forceful energy. A lot of people find this Queen of Swords really abrasive. Yeah, and on top of that, the Queen of Swords is a type that's not to be trifled with. She will have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. If this is not an actual person, it can stand for the need to be really forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So... So you might feel like you have to put your foot down. Queen of Swords, it can indicate that your instincts are serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. Queen of Swords, very, very forceful. And like I said, a lot of people find this energy really, really abrasive. So it's with this Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is a positive card in the tarot but it, yeah it could be um, really good when it comes to work and career because when you hear the word pinnacles that means money cash coins finance but it's an overall good card it means that you're doing well the three of pinnacles it tells you that the people around you they appreciate you you and your efforts and they notice the quality of work you do even if you're not getting paid. The three tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, but at this time you will not have to scrap something and then start again. So, present time, Queen of Swords, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. So it looks like your person they did not get on board with this spirituality trip that you're on. Or that's how they looked at it. Like it was some type of trip or something that uh, they didn't get on board with that. This hierophant, moral, traditional route or route that you wanted to take. No. Mm -mm, they put their foot down. They let you know things are just fine the way they are. Yes. But this person, they knew that you wanted to find balance in the connection. And that was your approach. Taking the uh, moral, ethical, traditional way. Doing things that would collect, that would bring that energy into the connection. They knew that that was your approach to, to making the connection more balanced. But they said no. Then they were very, very cold and abrasive about it. And if they didn't, if they didn't say no already, they're gonna tell you no. They like the relationship just the way it is. But like I said, they see that you want some changes to to keep the connection balanced. So it looks like with this three of Pentacles here, they're gonna present to you what they can offer you. Yeah, because the Three of Pentacles is about some benefits. They might talk about teamwork, collaboration, <laughs> something skillful, skillful that they they can do. Uh, yeah, they're gonna let you know that um, there's other ways 
they're not they, they don't seem to be on board with the traditional the traditional moral ethical approach of finding the or key of key, the traditional moral ethical approach of keeping balance into the connection they don't think that that's the way to go so they they'll pull up some other stuff they'll say well why don't we try this why don't we try that but it's not what you want yeah you might be trying to tap into your spiritual side so they they bring up some other benefits to the connection um yeah but they put their foot down they say no we will not take the traditional moral ethical approach it's good just the way it is so they might offer you something else or just offer a different approach now let's take a look and see what the challenge is so we got the full card and it's with the king of pentacles now the full card it's actually an indicator of newness in one form or another now in many ways it does indicate the open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child children they're trusting and trust it actually forms the basis of meaning for this card this is considered a positive card but there could be one thing it's going to be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown that's one thing but if you do so without any thought whatsoever it can be a big mistake as you can see in the picture the fool card is about the word challenge he's just taking a leap of faith like his feet are gonna land on solid ground without him looking where he's walking you can't, I don't, I don't think you can see that card really well, the way my camera is positioned, but what's below him is all blue water. It looks like a huge ocean, maybe the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, so you, yeah, it's about taking a leap of faith, but yeah, you do have to be smart about it. So, King of Pentacles, that's what it's paired with. King of Pentacles could be success in money matters. So... It's a sign that now is not a time to be a maverick, but it is a time to follow the established way of doing things. So when he stands for an actual person in your life, it can refer to a very masculine type. Could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. And if he's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is a man who you can. Yes, you can believe in and trust absolutely. Yeah, the King of Pentacles is great. It's a positive card in the tarot. The King of Pentacles is a good father type. Very stable. They like security. They like, they're okay with commitment. They could be career focused. Very good energy. Who doesn't like stability and good fathers and Someone that doesn't run from commitment. But um, anyway, so your challenge, Libra. Full card and it's clarified by the King of Pentacles. So it looks like after your person, they put their foot down and say, No, mm -mm. we're not going to church. We're not becoming more spiritual. We'll find balance a different way. Once they, they told you no, it looks like you're ready to get the heck out of Dodge. Because I think you feel that the connection needs help. Yeah. You think it needs help. But your person is, he's not on, he's not on board with that. So it looks like you're ready for a new beginning somewhere else. Yeah. Because you see, you see how the King, Queen of Swords is, card is right next to the full card. You're, you're taking a leap of faith in the, in the opposite direction. 
So, you're ready to run off. You're ready to get out of there. That's how you're feeling. You're ready to take a risk on a new beginning somewhere else. Yeah. But your person, they want success. They want success with you. They want to secure it and commit it. But uh, they're just not into maybe spirituality or they're just not into into traditional. They kind of want they kind of want to keep it like it is. But you're letting them know you you will run off. That's what the fool card. That's what the fool does. The fool card. They just take a risk off on some other new beginning. They'll take a risk towards some other new beginning. They'll just run off. And your person, they know that you'll do this. They see you're about to pack your bags and just take a leap of faith elsewhere. Or at least you might have just given them that impression. So... With this King of Pentacles here, they they want to secure you. They want to commit the relationship and lock you down. They don't want you to run off, Libra. They don't want to scare you away either. This person does want su success with you and with the connection. Maybe they just didn't grow up in a traditional, spiritual, moral type of environment. That can have a lot of, uh, that could have a lot to do with the way you think when you grow up, too. Yeah, if you, if you didn't grow up in a spiritual, moral, ethical household, there were no grounds or no, um, rules, then that person growing up would think that that might be crazy to live that way, with rules and, um, having morals and being ethical. So, yeah, maybe you grew up that way, but they didn't. So, it can impact you or have your thinking kind of, um, you can have your thinking, um, it can affect your way of thinking when you get older, put it that way. So, that is the challenge. Let's move on over. And let's see what the outcome is. We got the Ten of Cups. And it's with the Strength card. Now the Ten of Cups is beautiful. It's one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards that you can get in a reading. It's about happiness in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. It's a great card to see. Ten of Cups, it speaks of happy family life, even if you're single. To the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, your siblings, your children, your pets, your cats, your dogs, your bunny rabbits. Also, being spiritually fulfilled, it's a part of the picture. Great card to see regardless of any question. Now, it's with the strength card. With a strength card, you can feel like meditating, contempl contemplating, and spending time alone. Even if you're in a committed relationship and you got a hundred kids. So, do not allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Because the outward things, they'll be going all right. But what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So... Conquer any fears, control your impulses, and try to never lose patience with yourself and what you're doing. So, Libra, the outcome, Ten of Cups, clarified by the Strength card. So, this is beautiful. Your person sees you as a dream come true. They might not be letting you know. Yeah, they want the end all be all with you. Yeah, if the relationship has not been made formal yet and you hope that it comes to pass, well, take heart, it's coming. Make sure you don't sabotage things. 
by causing problems where there really aren't any. So, like I said, Libra, your person, they see you as a dream come true. They want to be with you. Yeah, they, and because the King of Pentacles here, they want to secure the connection once again and be committed with you. But the traditional approach, or whatever approach that was you were trying to introduce them to, maybe it wasn't traditional, but it's on that level of how I explain the Hierophant to you. Something they weren't on board with when it came to that type of energy. But they, this person really likes you. They want the end all be with, the end all be all with you. And because it's with the strength current, um, it's showing that it's going to become a mutually supportive and beneficial relationship. Yeah, so they could get on board with your approach later. Mm -hmm. Because the strength card is about acceptance, being patient, compassion. It's about a strong relationship. Yeah, and the strength card is also about um, conquering any fears. Maybe your person was afraid of that traditional type. So they, they conquer their fears. Your person wants you. They want to be supportive of what you want to bring into the relationship. So they do this, and it brings about a beautiful beautiful connection yeah it's gonna feel like unconditional love and you're gonna feel like your person has a lot of respect for what you were trying to do so that's the reading that i have for you libra i hope this resonates as you know general readings they do not resonate they do not always resonate with everyone then again if you like the reading please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I will go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. So I hope that all of you are doing well and staying strong during this crazy crazy virus season just hang in there it will pass and we'll all get through this so Libra, i thank you so much for watching i appreciate all of you my subscribers and that will be my old subscribers and my new subscribers is very helpful to my channel so please come back and check out the next libra reading which will be in about another I would say three or four days, just in case this does not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. So, Libra, I can never say it enough. Like I said a million times, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading, and I hope that you have a great day. Take care.